Hello Pisces, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your May 2022 mini tarot reading. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms and the moms-to-be this month. Um, also a little reminder, you may want to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. It seems I forget to remind everybody of that lately. And um, if you'd like a reading just about you, I've included my website down below, uh, which is soulstarbliss.com. And also you can book me at uh, readings by Judy, J-U-D-I-E. Uh, and I've included that down below also. So let's take a shuffle, Pisces, and see what is coming up for you. Here we go. Let's take a look. What is coming up for Pisces? Oh, my goodness. Here we go. It says um, making choices about money, okay, or um, abundance, actually. Could that be love? I don't think so. Sometimes... Um, Love and money feel the same to me, but I just feel like you're going to make some choices that's going to improve your um, finances, whether that be stocks and bonds, whether it be paying off something. I'm not sure exactly what, but all I see or feel here is you're going to make some choices that allow you to have more income. Um, I, again, I don't know if that's on paper uh, or it's for, re, you know, like you get a raise at work, but I just feel like you're working on make some choices where you're going to make more money. And that's always a blessing for a lot of folks, especially in times if you've been off work a lot. It's just that feeling of being alone. It's almost like, it seems like lately or in the past, uh, I want to say six months or so, you're feeling like you think different or you feel different or you're thinking different. And you know what? That's okay. But that feeling of being alone um, because you're not on the same wavelength as someone right at the moment, that's okay. You see things differently. And actually, I feel like there's been a lot of observations going on, and I think something's going to change where you see, like, by just changing maybe how you say something or doing a different routine, especially at home, changes on the way, and it really is going to make you feel really good about yourself. It says that um, also those of you that meditate or are making a plan, I think this goes back to the first beginning where there's more money. You hear the whole thing, okay? Don't... It's like you're going to make a decision, make sure you have all the information. Like, I don't know if you're working with a financial planner or at work there or how, whatever the money part is for you, make sure you understand everything because something's in the works about more money for you. And um, the best course of action looks like if it is in stocks or banking or something, have, a, have someone that knows what they're, if you know what you're doing, kudos to you. If not, make sure you have somebody that can explain it to you and you understand it completely. And that will go just fine for you, it looks like for, for all of you. Um, big change is coming like in the home area, preparedness in reverse. And this isn't for, I hope not for everybody, but it looks like there was discord um, arguments uh, backs turned and you know uh, you know I want it this way no I want it this way it looks like there's a coming together there okay it's like um excuses are gone now and spirit's going to have something to do with that whether you know whoever you pray to and you've asked for guidance open to receive it it says carrying around guilt from the past only makes the guilt heavier you know a good time to let all that go in fact this last April full moon I hope you did let a lot of it go I think a lot of people did let things go um, in the relationship area, I just feel like it's time for um, a healing there. Not that everything was bad, but it looks like choices that are made. Maybe there's going to be a recommitment um, to work things out if they weren't going so well. Or maybe there's a change in the work status. Maybe mom's working full-time and dad's staying home. Or dad's stay working full-time and mom's staying home. But whatever works out for you, trust that it's exactly how it's supposed to be. But remember, talking and making a plan without anger, no accusations, that kind of stuff is really a good thing to be doing. And if you learn from how things were, whatever worked, do it. What didn't work, you know, take that off your list. Reasons to celebrate, I feel, really. And, you know, it seems like somebody, um, or somebody, it seems like those of you that, oh, this just isn't working, this is too hard, I don't want to do this, change that thought. You know what I mean? If, if, if you, in the event you do want to end a relationship, do everything you can to make sure that you haven't done everything you could to make it better or heal it. I'm not saying everyone's going to end it, but if you end it without doing those things, the guilt from it will be really heavy on you. Um, counsel is needed. Get the counsel. You know, there's nothing wrong with getting someone to come from the outside, whether it be a counselor, a lawyer, or a doctor, 
or two friends talking. It just seems like with whatever issues were going on in a relationship certainly can be worked out. And if it is the fact that it needs to end, if you've done everything you can to, to, to repair whatever it was and it's not repairable, walk away as friends or at least not enemies if you can. And I don't think, I think if you talk about it and see those things and change a few things, I think a lot of you will be saving relationships that were on the rocks, so to speak. And does that mean every Pisces is on the rocks? No, that message is for the people that are having problems there. And don't let anyone take from you what you really believe. Um, you know, it, you can be stubborn, you can be a, you know, a little donkey, <laughs> but you know what, just be open to the possibility. And I feel real confident about those changes are gonna help you um, and help your, your partner or your family. Um, hmm. It says t it's time for the changes that you want to put into progress are going to be per like permanent, um, you know, like repairs, things that are fixed, uh, working on. It's like, you know, that stack of work that's there, it, although these are with people. Oh, I need to get to that. Well, the time seems to be now and it's almost like you're going to get a calling to do it. And really, it's really a good time to do that. Super good time to do that for you if you're feeling it. And it's, am I telling you to let someone walk all over you? Absolutely not. And I'm saying is that feeling, that sadness that, you know, gosh, I've made such a mistake or I screwed up. Talk about it. You know, you don't have to uh, beat yourself up, you know, or you don't have to say, you know, yes, I realize this is all my fault because it does take two. So if you want to make changes, this is a good month for it. And then, um, when you do that, gosh, I have two threes here. I just feel like it's gonna complete something and it's gonna repair something. You know, good, bad, or ugly, it's gonna be different. Uh, your intuition, the moon card says, okay, I feel, usually I feel that's intuition, but I heard by the next moon, full moon phase, you're gonna see changes about the stuff we just talked about. Wow, awesome. Are they perfect for everybody? Probably not, but you can work with what you have. And it says if you need, okay, this changes now. That little <laughs> that little window closed, I guess you want to say. If you have anything legal going on right now, whether it be um, foreclosure, a lawsuit, you know, a, a, a ticket, a speeding ticket, whatever it is, take care of it. It's going to not go away. Okay, it says get, get it taken care of. I also feel that there's joy coming. Are you ready for that, Pisces? Aren't we all? We just need some sunshine, some joy. And I feel this is available for you or being offered to you all around you, actually. And it says, just focus on what's here rather than what's gone. And you're going to be a victor. Sometimes it's hard to choose things. And if you're not ready to make the, you know, when you ask a question, okay, universe, is it time for me to move? And you don't get an answer right away. Probably not, you know, it's not time or you haven't, it's not time or you haven't made the decision yet. And with that said, it looks like, um, uh, pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. I feel again, this just was with another reading. I think your finances are going to improve this month, or you're going to have a plan to help them improve. And with that said, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss Pisces. Thank you so much for dropping in, and I'll see you again next month.